Hi. Welcome to the introduction to Build Your Own Flying Wing. Uh, the goal of this project is to build a relatively expensive, inexpensive flying wing. Uh, the wing will be uh, 30 by 20 inches uh, if you take its outside dimensions. And with the parts list that I will attach, I'm hoping to get between 100 miles an hour and 200 kilometers an hour as far as the top speed for this wing. Uh, this wing will have a KFM 4 airfoil. And uh, let me show you the finished product. I'm, I'm taping the introduction segment after I've completed the wing. Uh, but I will put a final thoughts uh, segment, which I'll go in more detail of uh, the problems that I had during the build and how I overcame them, and just generally how I think it went. So this is the wing we'll be building. I call this wing my FPV-30. Um, it's based on a design by uh, a project flight design, actually. Um, but I take the uh, KFM-4 airfoil from FT FPV Trond and the naming convention from Shrug 5. So this is, as I said, a KFM-4 airfoil, top and bottom. And the uh, power plant on, on this guy is going to be a Turnigy NTM prop drive, uh, 3000 kV, uh, 2836, I believe. I'm going to run a 60 amp ESC on it. And I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to build this with uh, Hobby King or Hextronic HXT 900 servos. Um, so uh, here, you, here you can see uh, I've done a light and dark color scheme top and bottom and I'm going to run a 7x5 reverse prop on the wing and uh, we'll see how that does in the speed trials when I finally get it out to Maiden. Uh, so this is the wing that you'll be building. Um, I also have uh, other ones if you if you want to follow most of the build video there's, a, there's between two and three hours probably of, of video footage. Um, you can do, and I would recommend if you've never flown a wing before, a KFM-2 airfoil version of the same wing just by not doing the lower step. You can see here's the KFM-2 version. You see there's, there's no uh, step there. You can get, it, get away with a much lighter motor. The, this wing itself is a lot lighter because the smaller, smaller motor, uh, smaller ESC, there's going to be less battery weight on it. And, of course, it doesn't have the bottom foam step. I will include a full parts list um, as part of the intro and the final thoughts. And I'll include the plans and some pictures of the, the electronic components that are going to go in, on the wing as part of this segment. Uh, let me go through the parts list. And as I read, read these off, you'll probably not see my face. You'll probably see pictures of the parts. So as I said, the motor is an NTM, let me just reorganize here, so it almost looks like I'm looking at you. The motor is an NTM prop drive 2836, 3000 kV motor, uh, bought from Hobby King. I believe it comes in at about $17. Um, there's a Hobby King 60 amp ESC with a 4 amp uh, UBEC on it. Um, and that also comes in between $15 and $20. I think it probably is about $16 or $17 as well. Uh, the receiver I'm using in this, um, you're free to use whatever receiver uh, you'd like, which goes with uh, whatever transmitter you have, but I'm just using a very simple Hobby King GT2 three-channel receiver, uh, usually used for cars. Uh, they come in at around $6. I'm using two HXT900 servos on it. Uh, they come in at, I think, $2.69 a piece. Um, now, since I want this wing to go 200 kilometers an hour, I would have liked to have used uh, the Turnigy uh, Metal Gear equivalents to the HXT 900s. I believe those are called the 5090 or 50,090 uh, Metal Gear 9, 9 gram servos, uh, but I only had one of those uh, in the house here, and I don't want to wait a uh, couple weeks for delivery uh, to take this wing out for a try. So we'll see if the uh, the 900s hold up because I've got a, a two inch control surface here. My, uh, my elevons here are two inches and uh, with the speeds if I do a tight bank I don't know if the servos will strip or not. I'm hoping that they'll be okay. 
I'm using a 7x5 prop on here. Let me angle you toward the wing so you can see what I'm... I'm using a 7x5 prop on here. The, the one I'm using isn't the one I'm going to list in the parts list. Um, I'm using, I think it might even be one of the uh, one of the Turnigy glow-in-the-dark props. It just happened to be what I had around, but I, I did want to go for either a 6x4 or 7x5 to try this out at first. Um, the other things listed in the parts list are Polymax 3.5mm connectors, which are used to connect your motor to your ESC. Uh, I believe this motor came with the, the connectors on it already, and I think I had to solder them onto the ESC. And my palm horns here, I'm just using uh, 20 by 27 millimeter uh, palm horns. Uh, for the... Um, should probably save some of this for the final thoughts, but uh, for my control arms, I'm using survey... Uh, I call it survey wire. It's uh, They come with little flags and you stick them into the ground. And my batteries uh, right now are just some Turnigy uh, 1000 milliamp hour uh, four cell batteries. Um, ultimately, I'd probably like uh, batteries with a better C rating. These have a 20 to 30 C rating, and I'm going to run two of them in parallel. So that's it for the introduction. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video series and learn something. Uh, there's a lot of video there, a lot of me talking as I go through each step. I go through the steps of stripping the foam, uh, the Dollar Tree foam board, of uh, taping it. I go through the steps of uh, cutting and taping the upper and lower steps. I go through shaping the front step and uh, I go through gluing, uh, assembling, uh, putting an A-frame. I put an A-frame in the bottom step. I also go through mounting the electronics and a little bit on the final setup. And Hopefully that's enough if you haven't built one of these before to give you the confidence to build your own. Uh, I think this wing comes in at about $60 uh, foam included. Um, the things that aren't included for that $60 would be the, the two batteries and of course your transmitter. Um, so some people watching this might think for 60 bucks I can go onto the Hobby King website. I can actually order myself a plane and it's true, you can. But there's no way for $60 you're going to get the quality of motor and ESC you're getting here, even the quality of the servos. Um, and the, the other thing is uh, shipping on your electronics parts is a lot cheaper than when you start shipping large quantities of foam uh, from China. So I hope you enjoy the series and I will post a final thoughts video at the end of the series. And of course, the maiden flight, which I'm really looking forward to. I, I like the way this thing turned out, and, uh, and I hope it flies well.